Hello and welcome back to your show Identity Zoom Flobo Shatiri, a show that is talking about public finance management. And today we're talking about the issues of devolution. Mangam Jizva Ire, Kutima Simbanu Guna Kubva, Eku Shitonga, Kutayende Ku local government, Nyad Zemar, Kutizakunda Ku local government, Nyad Zaku manager my resources, and Zakunda Ku local government, where you as citizens will be participating fully and don't let it pass you by. But Doc, before we went on the break, we were already talking about some of the expenses. I think I had alluded to some of the costs actually of devolution. Would you want to add something? Yes, I would. yes, there are costs that are associated with the devolution, special planning. Remember, the community is not a united entity. There are so many various groups of people with the different aspirations and views and interests. So to aggregate those interests, women, youth, and the elders, might be very difficult, but a focus group approach during that stage might be very important where you have women alone and they air their issues, youth alone and the elders and the people living with disabilities so that no one is left behind. Zimbabweans, we are so good with planning, technical, teaching, or build the teams. As we call it, really, because some of these things, processes, we already know. We did the constitution, we knew that. There are national plans that are happening every year where people speak, do we need another, or we just need to implement existing um, documents that are there? Remember, we are living in a dynamic, very complex environment. Needs and wants change day in, day out. So devolution is about inclusive politics. So you would need definitely to hear what the people want in order to decide what they want if you want to succeed. Otherwise, it ceases to be devolution. All right. So maybe tell us what has happened so far regarding devolution because you said um, that there's been processes. Maybe in a nutshell, what we have seen so far and maybe what we are supposed to see moving forward. Yeah, the processes are there. Let me just say in short, if you look at you know, the TSP, the Transitional Stabilization Program, it was outlined. Then if you look at the National Budget 2019, it was outlined now the guidelines. So there is a clearly defined path. But of course, what is missing, it could be the milestones and the deliverables to say, okay, by when should this task or activity be achieved? That is what is left. But otherwise, where we are going in terms of the direction, I think it's very clear. And what we wanted to do. Tendai, what timelines are desirable? I know you're coming from NGOs and civil society and citizens. What are citizens saying around the issues of timelines? What are the aspirations? Uh, thank you, Nyari. I think on that one, Vagari, Vakato Mirakuona is Richitwa like yesterday. Mm. No kutu kuva twenty thirteen tanga takango dini taka mirira. Saka even the twenty nineteen national budget, they said the devolution will be implemented as soon as is possible. But now we are six months down the line. Yeah, it needs to be done like now. Would you also say that maybe the processes that have been mentioned, the, the transitional processes that have been set in place are also probably parts of those and if so, what would you say uh, would be some of the steps that the government should be taking other than the already taken processes? For you as civil society or as citizens, you feel like there is movement, there is something that's happening, and by when? Yeah, I think uh, uh, that, that's a very uh, good question, Nyari, to say citizens out there what they want at the present moment to make sure that they are part of the process already because mm. we're talking about participation of the citizens. Is The government is to go out there with awareness-raising meetings because as we speak right now, there are debates to say what is the meaning of devolution mm. itself. Uh, citizens don't even know. So right now, as part of the process of speeding up the process, citizens, because when it comes, we don't want to, uh, to take them uh, uh, by surprise mm. to say, here's devolution we're already implementing. Uh, have they been involved in the first place? Do they know what is it? Do they have the updates? It's very good for the government to go out there and update to say we haven't disbased the 310 million to local authorities because of one, two, three. Oh, that's, and that's, also to mm -hmm. share, like what Dr. Sinyama was saying, to say, we need to know those milestones, to say, by what, we want those deadlines. Mm -hmm. They have to go out there to the people and give an update on the process. 
Oh, I think on that point, Nenot, we end the program and you say, thank you very much, guys, for coming to teach us and to educate us about devolution. And as you say, I think there is no uh, real, um, there is no particular way a devolution for any nation should uh, be going. But like you're saying, a devolution has to be contextualized to say as Zimbabwe, how does our devolution look like? How are the people participating in the devolution or the politicians participating in the devolution. And I think devolution is for the people and you and I are the people. So write to us on Facebook, write to us on WhatsApp, on our Twitter, give us your feedback. We're going to follow up on our Facebook uh, page, Identities Media Holdings, where we continue with these conversations uh, on Facebook, where we are every Wednesday having a Facebook Live at 2 p.m. to follow up on your feedback with some of these um, guests. So follow us up, uh, right? to us and send us your questions your comments as we are saying on identities we want something that is constructive do not just send us comments on complaining or but we want to build our nation devolution is for us until next time have a lovely day